on guys welcome back to the channel as always i'll get this out of the way right off the bat if you like this please subscribe share it drop a comment in the video um it helps me out a lot it's free it doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe or comment if you even if you don't like this video and you think this thing's a piece of garbage let me know put it in the comments it's all good as long as you're saying dropping some comments it's all good guys anyways um for those of you who haven't seen my other videos i'll just do a real quick uh update on this it is a 97 yamaha banshee yes it's 96 colors but in canada they offered this color scheme in 97 so it is a true 97 um completely bone stock the only thing that's aftermarket is the i put boyson reeds on the factory cages that's it still has the the factory air box the air box lid there's no holes drilled in it or anything like that like this thing is bone stock stock pipes everything so uh super nice day out today and i was kind of bored and i'm trying to figure out what to do here and i figured maybe uh i'll try to figure out how to get good at wheeling in this thing so i'm sure i'm gonna get on in the comments because <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing uh, for really in this thing i've tried it a couple times here and there it's pretty difficult i'm not so bad on like bikes and stuff dirt bikes i could i could do it okay but on this i'm i don't know i'm having a hard time um, but we're gonna go out i'm just gonna practice a bit so i'm not really sure how this video is gonna turn out it might just be a boring video of me miserably failing at trying to figure out how to wheelie this thing for five minutes or maybe it'll be good I, I don't know you guys will have to decide that so hopefully i don't flip it and write it off because <laughs> i really don't want to flip it it's in very 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 nice shape it would be a real damn shame if i wrecked this thing but uh, i'm going to try my hardest not to but eh, at least if it does get wrecked i get it on video right but uh, totally not my goal today but i don't know we'll see what happens so i'm going to go to a spot i don't know, a nice quiet spot not too far from here and uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just try to see uh, what it's gonna do. I don't really know what gear I think is the money gear yet. I'm thinking third gear, but I don't know. We're gonna have to go, go and find out, I guess. So yeah, let's go see what happens. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with second gear and we'll see how second gear works. So. third it was doing it in fourth too i can wheelie in fourth but uh, i don't know i like the feel in the third second's not enough i can't really get it right to that balance point where second would be enough i, I don't know i can't get it there yet so far i like third but let's uh let's go to a different spot and let's try this again i think third's the gear though so i'm getting a lot better than i was anyways well guys i'm starting to change my mind i think i might like fourth gear a little better than third. 
kind of sketchy to be honest, but uh, kind of sketchy to be honest, kind of sketchy. I don't know. I think I kind of like it better. A few moments later. <laughs> Oh, mother Yeah, that hurt bad, boys. Oh, that hurt bad. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Look at that. Oh, man, I ruined it. Damn it. Well... Oh man. Oh. As, if, man. As if I did that. Oh. As if I did that, I can't believe I did that. Oh, man. Well, that sucks, guys. There goes the bars. There goes the heel guard. Fuck the edge of the plastic. I can clean that up. Yeah, the bumper got smoked. Exhaust is okay. Oh, oh yeah. I'll do. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys. <sighs> Damn. Well, I gotta figure out how to get this thing home now because that A arm is toast. All right. Not impressed, boys. Not impressed. Oh, look, you can see where. Bumper hit too. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh yeah, look at this road rash, guys. Check this out. Oh yeah. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, see you when I get this thing home. Fire is fucking too small, boys. Look, you see the fire rod hanging. Uh, not good the next day all right so it's the next day and uh, i'm just kind of assessing the damage here and uh, i think i've got her all figured for the most part so obviously the handlebars were toast i put another pair i just had hanging out on the shelf um what we got here i'll show you the ones that were on it yeah, check this out so yeah <laughs> those are gone um uh, the steering stem, I'm not sure if it's bent. I haven't looked closely at it yet. I'm assuming it probably is because they like to bend. The A-arms toast, you can see where it had completely cracked through here. So after I had crashed it, that was actually completely folded and the tire was almost touching the shock. So I had just reefed on the tire outwards to kind of straighten it and drove home like that. And I'm lucky I didn't eat sh on the way home which I thought was going to happen and it didn't, but the tie rod end snapped 
clean off the tie rod. The tie rod's okay though. So I was driving home with a bent A arm and no tie rod waiting for this tire to just do one of these jiggly jaggly things and then I was waiting to fly over the bars again. Oh well, didn't happen so that's good. Um, but yeah, so A arm, handlebars, steering stem possibly, uh, tie rod end, uh, the plastics, this is what I'm kind of bummed out about the most, the plastics got all scuffed up. Not bad I guess, but uh, I'm going to sand it and try to smooth it out so there's no big burrs. The wheel, or I should say tire, there was a bunch of chunks of asphalt between the tire and the rim itself. So I pulled the Schrader valve out and I squeezed the tire with a clamp so I can kind of pull the tire away from the bead. And I dug out um, all the chunks of asphalt so it seems to be holding air now, although the edge of the rim kind of got smoked. Um, but the rest of the rims kind of had some damage anyways, so maybe I'll do the rim flip. I'll put insides out i didn't really want to do that but it's probably better than looking at <laughs> damaged lips so the rear axle i tried giving it a spin and uh it looks straight but i'll probably fire it up after and throw it in gear and watch it spin and see how that's looking uh, the mount for this rear fender got bent i haven't fixed it yet the master cylinder cover there's a bunch of chunks out of it, the lid, the cap, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to get a new one of those. The throttle cap got a bit damaged, but not bad. I may or may not change that. The handlebar switch for your lights and your kill switch, the big chunk of the switch got busted off. So I need a new one of those. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, the front fender also got a nice scuff on it and it broke the mount. Just a little mount, mounting tab on the frame snapped off, so I'll have to push it back and weld it. And I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, the heel guard broke. Um, it bent the key in the ignition, but I had a spare key, so that key got taken out. I actually had to cut the crossbar off the handlebar so I can get the bars out, because the, the crossbar was bent right down into the ignition. Um, I think think that's it hoping the spindle's not bent i don't think so though i think it's just that tie rod end so yeah yeah this sucks <laughs> so she's gonna need some love for sure so yeah i'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribe that'd be awesome and uh tune in for future videos because i'm going to be fixing it and uh buy a t-shirt buy a middle lake tuning t-shirt I'll post the link below and you can buy one. It's pretty cheap. And uh, all funds from t-shirt sales will go directly to Banshee Parts to fix this thing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll get this thing fixed up. I can't uh, I can't leave it like this. It, it uh, hurts me to see it like this. So We'll see you on the next one, guys. Hey! Subscribe to the channel!